if you're a web developer or a data enthusiast, uh, you have likely have dealt with CSV files uh, in the process of sharing spreadsheets. And, you know, it's typically because CSV is just a simple structure uh, for everybody to work with. Well, right now, if you were to be tasked and said, hey, I'm going to give you a CSV file. I need you to import it. I need you to use that data and then use it for whatever purpose. You know, sometimes that's to create user records. That could be to send emails. Uh, there's, I mean, there's no telling what your usage case is for your own data, right? But I, I, do, I deal with this so often. I was like, you know what? The time has come. I'm going to build a little tool that can just quickly get this set up to where I can immediately, through a REST API, uh, query against my own data. And thus, I created restcsv.com. And I want to give you a demonstration. So I went to Claude, which is my go-to AI tool, and I said, hey, can you generate me a sample customer data file? And it did just that. So that's going to be the file we're going to use. So let's go to Choose File, select the file. And as you see, it's pretty quick. And that's because this file isn't big, but it, it can't handle larger files. The goal down the road is to be the fastest million plus row importer that's ever existed, but that's a work in progress. But we gave the application our information, and so now it's given us our API details. So it's going to give us an API key. It's going to give us the endpoint, which is just a read-only endpoint. If you do want like a post or put update support, let me know. Uh, I'm looking for additional usage cases, but for now it's read-only. But as I was saying, you get your endpoint, you get the queries that you can, uh, the structures that you can perform, and then I give you a curl sample followed by a, a sample that is specific to Laravel, which uses the Laravel HTTP client. So, so to kind of kind of look at things, we're going to go take the URL, and I'm going to paste it into the browser. But you're going to see that it, you know, it gives us paginated results, but we currently have no data. But this is because in the example, I use placeholders. So we're going to say for the term, we're just going to put an asterisk, which means that it'll search, you know, for anything. Searchable is if you want to uh, filter by a specific column. So I'm going to give it the asterisk as well. So it's going to filter by all of them. And then the final query string parameter is our API key. So when we run this, you see we quickly get a response. And this is because when we bring in your file, we index it into Meli search, which makes this search lightning fast. So we have the data. So when it comes to filtering this data, so you can use the term to drive this, it, it supports partial value. So if I say Emily, it's going to give me a result. Or if I say the letter C, it's going to give me a result. Uh, you might sit there and say, well, Jordan, I want to just, I want it to only look at one specific field. And this is where the searchable query comes in. Because I can sit there and say, you know what, I want you to go look at the website only. And you know what, I want dot com addresses and you see it gave us that well as you see we have two results but now you're going to say well jordan what if i wanted to look for a dot com on the website but after that i only want the records that have a subscription value a basic so what I'm about to show you, this is not in the documentation. This is something I, I've done specifically for those of you that are watching this video. It will eventually get documented, but I wanted this to be sort of a little special inside baseball, if you will. So what's, what you're going to see in the documentation in the upcoming days is the introduction, uh, the introduction to a filters query. So we're going to say filters, and then I can say subscription, which is the column in the file. And then I can say basic. And then when I hit enter, you see it filtered that even further down to that one specific record. And just like that, in less than a minute, we uploaded a file, we generated a REST API, and then we've conducted uh, queries against that. And it's lightning fast. And so if you have usage cases, such as you might want puts or posts or other types of support, because this is currently a read-only API, but if there are needs that you have, I want to know them so I can further evolve this product. And if you want to reach out to me, if you go to the restcsv.com website, you go to the bottom right. If you click on that support, it'll uh, reach uh, me. Or if you want to go on Twitter, you go to Twitter, uh, Jordan K. Dalton, and you can send me a DM there or tweet at me, whichever you prefer to do. But I, I, I want to get your, your, your feedback. But like I said, you know, it's a, it's a simple, quick tool. 
I look forward to seeing what you do with it. I look forward to learning your usage cases. And if you found value in this video, I want you to like it, leave me a comment, share it on social media. Let me know what you build. So until next time, enjoy.